welcome back to the Spider's Web and in this video we're painting the Striker from the Neobot team from Dreadball. So we're starting off with Spaceship Exterior and we're using this to pick out all the armour parts of the Mini. Now what we've done so far is we've spray painted it with a rattle can black as a primer and then we're using another rattle, a white rattle can this time we've given it a zenithal highlighting and then we've gone over new enough everywhere with Vallejo's light grey and then we've covered, give it a wash with Army Painter's Dark Tone and that is all shown in the first video of this series so if you'd like to go back and watch that one before you carry on with this then please do so it shows you exactly step by step how we uh, at least I think I showed it how we did it if not um, I may have just already primed it and then shown you from the how did it I can't quite remember but um, we just basically wanted a flat white or flat pale color to act as a base for the white highlights um, the armor of this I wanted to be white but I'm using the white as a highlight color and this spaceship exterior is not a pure white, it's uh, like a chewing gum white. In fact, it's a little lighter than chewing gum white. So, <clears throat> um, there is a difference between the spaceship exterior and white, so it does show quite a bit of difference once the white starts going on, but you'll see that later on in the video. Anywho, um, <clears throat> We're, uh, as I said, we're just basically trying to get the flat coverage so that we can paint the highlights on. And it's just the armor we're doing now. Um, before we go any further, I would like to thank Ian Cleverdon for allowing me to use his music in the video. If you want any more information about where you can get this music from, um, it's all in the uh, in the description bar. So if you have a look there and follow the link and uh, you can get this album in his first album and it's not um, this is not sponsorship by the way and um, the album I bought with my own money didn't send it me um, it was just a case of I bought it I liked it he's a friend of mine so I asked him if I could use it and he said yeah fair enough <coughs> Now with these I did um, four, four videos, I did the Gerd, I did the Jack in the last video, this is the Striker, <coughs> I've got a Prone Mini and the Captain to do yet, I did um, the Jack, this Striker, the Prone Mini and the Captain back to back, so once I finished one I filmed the next one and so on and so on and so on. So. I basically just have to get through the voiceover stage of this and converting it ready to upload um, but after that I had three guards and two um, strikers to paint and those ones I did I actually did with all of this part with the spaceship exterior I did all that with the airbrush just to see how different it would be um, <clears throat> Now, I've never painted a mini with my, other than tanks obviously in the buildings for Flames of War. I've not done any mini like this with my airbrush, so I wasn't sure how it would cope. So what I did was I, I just did the last five, just to be quick about it, I did those five with just with this, just as this stage with the, um, Airbrush, and it took a heck of a lot quicker. Quicker. It was a heck of a lot quicker, rather, <laughs> to paint than uh, doing it by brush. So if you do have an airbrush, um, I, you know, I recommend giving it a try. But I just wanted to, uh, I wanted to be sure I could do it first of all, and how it would work. 
um, before he actually did it on camera. Uh, you know, you know what they say: a little bit of practice doesn't go any, um, doesn't do anybody any harm. <laughs> um, so the thing I got out of it with the airbrush is that even with the fine spray from the airbrush, quite a bit of the um, of the recesses were lost with it as well so I'm not treating these as incredibly finely detailed minis um, which is why I didn't do a lot of clean up on them I'm just painting them and just putting them out there as you're treating them as game pieces rather than any form of display piece um, because basically that's what they are so <clears throat> Yeah, because I can't get on the into more, a lot of the details, you know, I'm not really making too great an effort. I'm just getting colour on them, making them look presentable for playing with, just to a table stop standard. <clears throat> okay, now I think we've finished all the spaceship exterior now. And we're going on to the next colour, which will be rough iron from Army Painter. And here we're doing all the bits that are, shall we say, underneath the um, armour. This is all the bits that are. Um, what can I say? Uh, uh, all the mechanics, and the, the me mechan mechanical stuff underneath, because these are, as I've said in each video so far, these are robots. They're not, um, say, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not organic beings. They are robots. They are constructs. So therefore, there's me me mechanical stuff beneath the armor. So that's what we're doing this with. <coughs> And I'm picking out small details as you can see to do these little circles at the joints. Um, although they look as though they stand out quite a bit, they don't. And quite often they've been misshaped, I've noticed. But I'm not too worried about things like that as long as they look good on the table, that's all I'm bothered about. <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, I've completed the whole team now. They're all done. And uh, what I've also decided is I need, I want to, I've ordered some um, light tone from Army Painter. So I'm waiting for that to turn up. And once that comes, I'll be going over all of the minis with the light tone so it's a put a bit more depth to it and now we're going on to the white this is um, uh, from the air model range from Vallejo and adding white to all of the areas that are shall we say up facing upwards to where the light would be this is your basic highlight again I've gone off camera with it <clears throat> but you'll see what I'm doing in a moment I think I may have set my camera and then I've pushed it further into the table <clears throat> anyway I hope you're enjoying the videos that I'm doing at the moment with this particular style um, please let me know what you prefer do you want me to just do narrate as I paint or do you like these ones where I um, I do all the painting and then the uh, narration overdubbed and, uh, and uh, show it on being done in high speed. Um, <clears throat> some of the de some of the more detailed minis that I want to spend a bit of time on, like the stuff from um, 
mythic battles or monolith um, and uh, the vampire hunter ones which well I can do a few others as well um, I'd still like to do them as um, narrators I paint as it were um, and just spend a video or two going over one particular model um, but if you prefer if you like these for general minis then I'll continue doing these ones if you prefer me talking as I'm painting and telling you what I'm doing and why then I can go back to doing some of those for some minis I still have a, t uh, a team for Rumble Slam to do for Ali and I still have Ali's uh, wrestling ring to make up as well um, and I do have I've been working on the buildings earlier today for Flames of War um, I have some uh, of the houses and shops that I need to uh, paint up I think the houses I've already done but I do have shops there that uh, will be um, will be featured in the video and I also have a, a nice MDF church as well to do for Flames of War so building up a nice little French village um, ready for battling around and through That's it with the white, is it? Uh, possibly not. Yes, it is. We're now going over to do the how the metal areas with plate mail metal, and this again is army painter, and we're just doing the light touch on all of the areas that we previously painted the rough iron. Um, I do like the rough iron as a background color for the um, the plate mail metal. In fact, any metallic colour, I do like the uh, rough iron, or that colour, shade of paint anyway, um, for the background colours. <clears throat> so it doesn't take long for this to be done. It is. We're going on to the pure red from Ermy Painter. For some reason, I didn't show you the the bottle. I don't know why. And this one, we're painting the the red V on the front of the chest. That is indicative of, or um, not indicative. It's a trick. Uh, what you call it? A a nod towards the town where I was born and bred. I've mentioned this. In each video so far, um, I was born and brought up in St. Helens, or around St. Helens, and it's the local rugby team was St. Helens, and this was the colour of the strip. So that's all we're doing for the strikers, and now the next stage is to just paint the base black. I'm not bothered about the clear acrylic base, it's all going to get painted black. But that's it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. Shut up now and let you finish off watching what, uh, watching the painting and listening to the music. So until next time, stay safe and take care, God bless and bye for now. See you next time.